Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. This is Genetic JD. Today we're going to be talking about the recent faction rallies update. We're going to talk about which faction is the best, which one will you want to join, which one has the most benefits. Now a lot of it is preference and they're fairly balanced this time around, but when you pledge to a faction, the winning faction will receive a discounted weapon, potentially an exotic or legendary weapon. So there is a uh, potential reward here if you choose the right one. So let's go ahead and bring up the open director, which is the uh, selection option that we can look at the overhead. So the new monarchy is over here on the west side of the tower over in the bazaar section. Then you can come up here and look at the dead orbit uh, vendor up here in the hangar. And finally, future war cult. This is Lakshmi 2 and he is also in the hangar. So those are the three. Um, we're going to go ahead and start over here at New Monarchy and we're going to talk about why the New Monarchy may be a good selection for you. Well, New Monarchy I actually think is going to be the second place faction in terms of this event. I think um, in terms of who turns in the most, Dead Orbit will likely bring in the most. We'll go ahead and take a, a visit to the hangar. So uh, let's go ahead and click over to Dead Orbit. And uh, the vendors are currently not in place. They should be in place in a little while when the update goes out. But in terms of why you'd want Dead Orbit, it's because I think personally more people are going to choose that. And I think that the more participation a faction has, the likelier chance they are going to win. Um, I don't think you're going to see a situation where less people join a faction and uh, they have more participation. I just I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's all going to be in the numbers. And Dead Orbit seems to be the most popular. So we're going to go down to Dead Orbit's area. I do not believe we will see the vendors. However, we can take a look and see if they've been placed yet, but I doubt they have. And uh, yeah, so you're going to be able to pledge to which faction. The reason It's all going to be popularity, and I think, uh, yeah, they're not in place yet. The icon has not shown up. It's supposedly that they're going to be over here. Dead Orbit is to believed to be right around here in this little glowing section. So that is where you can expect to find them. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is really a simple video talking about the factions. I think um, it's going to be a fun event. This is a cool little thing that they're doing. Coming back from Destiny 1, you're going to see the three original factions again. Make sure you pledge your loyalty to one of them, pledge your allegiance to one of them, and you will have a potential reward at the end of it if that faction wins. So this is relating to the 1.05 update on Destiny 2, relating to faction rallies. If you have not heard of faction rallies, go check out my previous video. I break it down and explain clearly and concisely, basically a summary on what it is and how it affects you. Till next time, guys, thanks for watching. This is Genetic JD from Destiny 2 at the Traveler in the Tower.